Hello everybody and welcome once again to Running Red, that hardcore questing mod pack from Gideon Seymour. Oh, you can hear my owl is hooting away. Well, I've put him in this, this little room here to keep him safe, basically. And what we had at the end of the last episode was some tasks to do. One of the tasks was to um, give the heart of the infernal one, which I guess means another dragon heart demon heart the other one was to kill the a pet and give her the eye and the third one was to control the dead now i did one of those by accident because what i did is i went over to the um little island over the back there to put it down a hive and when i did that a spider jumped on me so of course i killed the spider which happened to be the pet of and she's around here somewhere of one of the witches and she keeps appearing uh, materializing somewhere and coming and disappearing again but she's around here sometime, somewhere so the next thing we have to do was to make a necrotic stone which is this thing but i want to go through the process of making this because it's um interesting shall we say so let's have a look at the recipe for that one if i can get a recipe I can't because it's one of these rites so we need the circle magic book for so doing that and it's the rite of necromancy so we need an attuned stone a bone rotten flesh wood ash an iron sword and spectral dust now spectral dust is killed a cheat no acquired by either killing a spectral being or with luck by grinding some mobs and killing them with the Athana. And I've actually been doing that. And if I look in this chest here, you'll notice I've actually got quite a few, six spectral dusts. I've also got seven skeleton skulls. And the way I've been doing that is like this. So I've come here, there's a creeper. If I kill the creeper with this dagger of sacrifice, it just kills it in one hit. But if I use say this sword which is a steel sword it doesn't kill it in one hit it kills it in three so the last hit if i use oh now we've got a zombie in the way if i use the athana it'll kill it and then there's a chance of it giving me a creeper heart which in fact as you can see i've now got so the same goes for the zombie so we can kill the zombie maybe three hits or maybe four and just finish it off with a athana and again depending on the which one I think that one actually dropped the spectral dust that time let's just try again you can't sometimes you see it depending on what armor we've got depends also what hits so I had six I probably no, didn't get it in that case but that's what I've been doing so now we've got plenty of witches hearts plenty of spectral dust and some skeleton skulls Normally the skeleton skull is what you'd put on the altar, but with the skeleton skull is better. And it doesn't give you any benefit by putting both. And here you'll see I've managed to actually get some water hives. And I dug this down, one extra block, and then got a whole load of squids too. So that was interesting. Let's just put these away. I don't need these for the time being. See, I've got seven. So what did we need? We needed an attuned stone. Okay, let's do that. That was one diamond, one bucket of lava, and I think it was a whiff of magic. So let's go and get a bucket of lava. I don't have any buckets in there, do I? No. It's very noisy around here at the moment. Explosions from the creepers and the owl hooting in the background. Right, one bucket. I don't have any in here either, do I? Nope. But I do have some in here. So we need one bucket of lava. Actually, we'll make two spec two stones because it's they're always needed. Just gonna get some lava. Same place as usual. I need to get some more whiff of magic, don't I? Well, you could craft them to start with. 
if I remember rightly it goes in the middle I'm not sure if it, the, order, the position is yes that's fine so we need another diamond and virtual go and do over the other side so another diamond I'm running out of diamonds in it and a whiff of magic plenty of whiffs of magic so again lava diamond and whiff of magic so now we have two as tombstones let's go back to the, the book spectral so we need a bone rotting flesh wood ash okay what have I got in here wood ash I should have in here a bone I shouldn't I don't have in there and rotting flesh I don't have in there either so let's go and get that of course we have plenty in here and this little mob spawner by the way is actually only a, s a three by three so it's a fairly small device it doesn't give that much in terms of mobs but it does give the odd one or two here's a skeleton for instance so let's just deal with this one obviously a bit stronger in this case try that one maybe again and finish up with a thana again wait for him to drop right got it and one more should sort of out and then double check this list check this so I didn't get anything that time but it just happens occasionally of course I've enchanted the Athana with um, looting three and unbreaking three which I think is maximum for those two. Oh, I did actually get two skeleton skulls look at that so right, what else does I need for that let's put those in here well, rotting wood, um, stone, and something else. What was the other thing? Ah, oh, spectral dust, wasn't there? Oh, you got nine of those. Oh, an iron sword. I have to make a fresh iron sword. I don't think I've got any. Oh, so I have got one prepared. All right, okay. So what I'm now going to do is to put all the things we need at the bottom. And of course the order just doesn't seem to matter that one we can leave down there. Right, now what the which was the right? I think the right was a set I've left the thing in here. Let's put that in here as well. So it's a seven by seven. Okay, oops, walking into my thing. Let's have a, that, by the way, it's clear glass from Tinker's Construct. 7x7. Seven seven. The small one is this one. Small ritual stone. Actually, my inventory is a bit full again. Let's. I need some more space too, so let's just do that. Uh, let's put the... I've got two buckets. Bealizer, sleeping bag, those, and... Let's get those out of the way. What else should we get rid of? This one here. Because what I would like is another piece of redstone. To put it back in afterwards. We could of course leave it. So we need this one here. Sm a small ritual. So we right click that in the in the middle. I, oh by the way, this is just coloured wool and it works just fine with coloured wool. I hadn't realised before, but it does. So make sure I've got my sigil turned off now. Which I haven't, of course. Right, turn it off. So let's try putting these in the middle. I think that's all we need. Right click that. And we should get a necromatic stone. Super. There we have it. Now there is another one we have got usage for this. I think the next one we can do is we can also, I think it's a ritual, we can sort of upgrade this to a spectral stone. And I'm not sure which one, the which ones. Now let's just 
have a look at another I want to just have a look at getting the ritual for the uh, spectral being I think I think it might be this one right of banishing right of summoning that's the demon imp with a witch and a familiar this is the one we need to do so we need a drop drop of up a raw pork chop a gold athana ingot and athana right the one that's hard here is a drop of luck so let's go and have a look at how we do that I'm just going through these because this is the, this is a guaranteed way to get uh, a spectral dust so we would like a drop of luck right here we have it now this is made with a bottle of water some refined evil, uh, evil and some mutatis extremis that's fairly straightforward i think we've made some of these already a few times i've got the mutatis extremis here i've got some bucket i've got a glass jar i forgot yes i've got one with water in because one of my brews went wrong the brew of flowing because i've tried to do that a couple of times and I can't do it here, I've got to do it in the sleeping world or the dream world. So the other one was refined evil. Let's just have another, I've forgotten how to do refined evil, let's just have a quick look. So that's a gas tear and diamond vapour in the kettle. So gas tear we should have some of, I think. But I don't see any there. Let's have a look. No, it doesn't look like I've got... Oh, I know where it is. It's not in this chest. But we do have some diamond vapour. Here we go, seven diamond vapours. By the way, that was double-clicking to turn that into yellow mode, which is a sort of a search mode. Oh, I don't have a gas tear in there either. Hmm, maybe I have to make one quickly. I used to have some in here as well. I guess I got 15. Fine. One of those will do. So here we are. Here's the kettle. So we want one of. Oh, I can't do it that way. Diamond vapor, gas to tear. We shall then get some items, including the refined evil. In fact, while that's cooking, let's just prepare this. So it was a water bottle on the bottom, extremis mutatis extremis on the top. And that, by the way, is fairly straightforward to make. The recipe for that was just in this particular version. Eight mutatis, eight mutatis around a, another wart. I should be nearly finished now. Wait a few more seconds. Make a slip of tea. And here we go. And the other things we get are actually also quite useful. So we've got Reek of Misfortune, Odor of Purity and Foul Fumes. So now we wanted to put that on in the middle and we should get the drop of luck. So I think we have almost everything we need. Let's just check now. So we need a drop of luck, a raw pork chop, a gold athana, uh, so a gold and get another athana. Well, Holding it here, and Athana is in the other chest. And uh, drop on. What was the other thing? As it, ah, uh, yes. A spectral dust, wasn't it? Hold on a second, I've forgotten already. Oh, pork chop. Yes, here we got seven pork chops. Pork chops, by the way. It, I've got quite a few of those. You get uh, with the looting on the sword here. You actually, you actually get more pork chops per pig than you do normally, so that's quite good. I'm going to have a bite to eat in the meantime. So, what well, where do we have it doing? We're doing this. So we need again. It's the same seven by seven, which is great. So here we go. We can actually get the Athana back again. So. Hopefully they don't pull these towards me. I 
And here's my spectral being, which I'm not going to kill. I just, I just right click it and you'll see it. And that's it. And he'll stay there. He's actually got quite a large amount of health as well. A spectral familiar. So the next thing we're going to do is go over and see those witches and see if we can get them to join our coven. So I needed the dragon heart, which is in here. Which I got last time and did last time, so it's no big deal to show us that one. And we'll go the quick way. I think P Island, Witches Island is here. There we are. We'll just fly inside and we then we should be able to give them their things. This is Juliet Vampire, and I'm not sure what she wanted, was it? Okay. Oh. She's joined my coven, so that was one. She took the dag uh, the heart and the necromatic stone goes to Mercedes Dreary. Oh, so she doesn't want this one. Just go now. Oh. So it must be the other one. Okay, let's go back again. This isn't going to work, by the way. I've tried this lots of times. So she probably wants a spectral stone, I think. We'll try that. This is something I've not made before, by the way. Oh, and this, uh, this is my little tour for um, bees. And of course, I've not got my mouse signal on, so let's just turn that on. In fact, they need flowers, these two, to grow better. So I'll do that next time. But you'll see I've got another meadows hive there. I'll turn off the jetpack it doesn't do so much flying but I have a little trip as I go around now this is a desert this is all to do with bees it's a little bit of an aside we'll do come back to that in a second and you'll see here I've got a modest hive and another artificial hive um, let me just change these two while I'm actually here and these like desert which we are in and they also like cacti and here we are oh, that's a big slime just up there by the looks of it and this one is is that not sure what the biome is this one it should be ocean why I'm getting rocky halves I don't know but I am and the next one was here which we've done and the last one is here which we've been to and the then we're back home. I also managed to get some other hives, but we'll come back to that later on. So the next item we're going to have to try is, let's have a look, move these out of the way, is, I think is a spectral stone. I'm not sure if, these are, if that's a craftable recipe or not. I think it's not. It must be this one, Portugal's one spectral stone and I think that's actually made by the same mechanism as we make the necromatic stone instead of using an attuned stone we use the necromatic stone let's just have a look see if I can find the, the right to do that I think there actually is quite late on that was summoning infusion these are quite interesting ones as well the right of necromancy nope Infuse a spectral stone. This is to perform that night. So we need a necromatic stone, a congealed spirit, condensed fear, spectral dust, and a bowline. Ooh, that's quite a set of things, isn't it? Congealed spirit. How do we do this? Let's come to the crafting ta table and have a look. This must be the congealed spirit. 
So that's one brew of hollow tears, which I've not made, and some subdued spirits. Hmm. Now that I've not seen here. This might be a difficult one. Because these I've got in the dream world. And a brew of hollow tears. Brew of flowing spirits. Yes, this is definitely one I can't do here. It looks like I've got to do that in the in the dream world. Because to make this brew of flowing spirit, you need these ingredients. But that's not such a big problem. What is a problem is it doesn't work in the overworld which of course is where we are at the moment so i'm going to have to do some more work to prepare for that before i come back and try that hmm interesting what else did we have to make to do this one so all of these look like they're um tricky spectral dust bowline bowline is easy condensed sphere let's have a look at condensed sphere Again, this is a brew of the flowing spirit or the vitrol, and that'll give me a brew of hollow tears. Oh, and convinced sphere. That's actually not too bad. So I have to make it in. I have to do quite a lot of work in the in, in the in the dream world to do this. So I've got to make a a nice altar like this and do all the rest of the work, which I think I will do off camera because it takes quite a lot of time. And I don't suppose it's too interesting for you. Anyway, we've achieved one thing today. And I've been working actually, what I decided to do here was let's actually leave this because we might need these again at some stage. Now it's very noisy, even these can encased in glass. And I've been working also on bees and tree breeding, strangely enough. This is. Um, doesn't tell you the tile leaves zero. These look these are just these leaf pattern here as you can see is fertilized leaves or cross fertilized I think. But you'll see here I've managed to get some tropical leaves. And what the trick here is to plant these near leaves with vines and then they turned I took a lot of time to, to be honest. They turned into tropical hives. Marshy ones were the same so we had a bit of swampland and I got some marshy hives once I got the, the sort of the, the thing right they came very quickly the environment this one I haven't got yet this is it needs to be frozen by them which is tiger which should work but maybe it's not got enough snow so either I'm going to have to make a rain machine or to give it more snow and more flowers around I'm not sure I'll have to try it takes a lot of trial and error here I've been breeding um, nothing in there this is strange this has happened a second time what's happened is this has changed to energy pulsar that should work then single energy pulse yes so we should have an AND case. In fact, I would expect to see one of these are on. So it's got no frames. Ah, it's got no frames. That's the trouble. I actually have made some extra frames, but they're, they're not uh, impregnated. These are just straightforward untreated frames. They don't last very long, but they're a lot easier to make than the other ones. Good thing I've got fire resistance. So they should then carry on producing silky comb. Silky comb is actually quite important, but mainly for protection for later on. We have it here, I've actually almost finished an alvary, and I can tell you this has taken an enormous amount of time to prepare. I've got 13 more royal jellies which isn't actually enough because I need two more blocks two more which are 16 so we need 16 royal jellies to make one alvary block which is uh takes quite a time and there there's two hives which are working full time with industrious bees and imperial bees just to do that so let's put those into here it's actually used up a lot of ingredients 
Don't ask me why those don't go together. And we could put the silky hive in here, spin that. And we should get some silky propolis. Actually, we could wait for this, it won't take very long. And we got silky propolis. I think that's 100%. We put that in again, with a bit of luck, we didn't get any this time. We will get one of these, a silky wisp, a silk wisp. And you put those in there and you make some woven silk. And this is what you actually need for things like um, protection against the bees. Some of these bees have really quite nasty properties. So you make basically an armour of silk, woven silk. And that produces like a bee hive, bee hat and stuff like this. But the very last thing I'd like to talk about today is something else I've been reading about. Crusher, I want this one. Here I've got, oh it uses half, okay good. Some bronze made with pulverized tin and copper ingots actually. Let's get the copper ingots, just take a stack of those out of there. We've got plenty of coppers coming in. Put those into there, into there. And then that will process and make this bronze ingot from Mechanis. Makes a good noise too, this machine. Like that. What I'm doing that for is to make a Paxel. I'm not going to do it here, well I am, but only for demonstration purposes. Now Paxel is an instrument that basically is combined, so it's a combined axe, so I'll make an axe, as I just stick right there. I'm going to do it from the top down. It's also a shovel, and it's also a sword. No, a sword, sorry, it's a pickaxe. And if you think about it, this is the order that we're going to do. Where's it gone to? Like that. And the order we're doing it is the same order from sort of like from the air, which is the trees, to the ground, which is a shovel, to this, to the stone, which is below the ground, which is, which is a bronze pickaxe. And that should make a pack, so it doesn't. Let's have a look so I can, if it actually has it in this mod pack. Yes, we do. Ah, wrong way around. Okay, that was reasonably good, but didn't quite work. Let's just see, get that to do it that way around. Okay, so we have one pack saw. We can also do the same thing. Oh, there she is, look. You can't, Juliet Vampire. Now it's part of my coven. And we can also do this with Obsidian. In fact, Obsidian gives you a really quite good property, so we'll make one of those. Ah, it doesn't work. Do we have obsidian? An obsidian paxel is made with an obsidian axe. Ah, obsidian ingots. That's all right, how do we do those? Ah, we can smelt the obsidian boots, which we don't have yet. Okay, refined obsidian dust in the compressor. If we've got any other recipes for this. Well, we don't have any obsidian boots. Osmean ingot plus refined dust, which of course is made by an ingot. How do we get this? Diamond dust and dirty obsidian dust. It makes refined up. This is quite an expensive recipe. How do we get dirty obsidian dust? Obsidian in the enrichment chamber. Okay. I think I'll just stick with the, the bronze one. But you'll notice here it's actually got uh, 13 attack damage. So it's a pretty fierce weapon actually. And of course it's it's going to be great in the um, in the overworld or the dream world, because which is where I'm going to go to next in my next episode, I think. Bit of a shame that didn't work. It's a bit more work than I thought it was going to be. Because it's reasonably easy to make. But we just need a bit of energy. The other one, the Osmian stuff in the in the in the other world is also very good. It's not quite as good as this, but the Osmian axe it gives you a, basically attack damage. These have attack damages. This has an eight attack damage, which is pretty good anyway. If you compare that to the Osmian sword, which I think is. here. Oh, that's also 8 too. 
it's unusual because the, the bronze ones are different. So if we look at the bronze battle, that's got an attack damage of 13, but the sword's only got an attack damage of 10, so in this case is definitely the thing to have. Right, I think that's about it for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Not quite worked out as I wanted it to, but never does. So until next time, bye for now.